So this week, we're going to go over tips for getting your sim promoted in their career. First and foremost, send your sim to work in a good mood. If your sim becomes uncomfortable or generally is unhappy at work, they won't perform as well as a happy sim will. Secondly, send your sim to work in the ideal mood. The mood should be clearly displayed on the career tab. For example, if your ideal mood is inspired, have your sim take a thoughtful shower before work. Or, if the ideal mood is confident, have them use a mirror to psych themselves up. The next thing you want to keep in mind while you are trying to get your sim promoted is, what is their daily task? On the career tab, your sim will have a daily task that will aid them in furthering their careers. Once the task is started, you can see your sim's progress in completing it. The task should be completed between each shift to maximize progress towards the next promotion. Along with the daily task, you can actually mouse over the career progress bar and see pretty general criteria for getting your sims promoted. One of the things you may notice is relationships with coworkers. Socializing with coworkers while your sim is at work is a great way to meet coworkers and get your social up while you work. You can also have your sim work hard while they are at work, which will make them progress towards a promotion faster. Pushing them too hard could actually bring their fun down to the point where they'll get tense and you'll see an adverse reaction, as tense sims perform about just as well as uncomfortable ones do. If you do want them to work hard, I would recommend the carefree trait, as that will keep your sim from getting tense. The carefree trait can be purchased from the reward store for 3,000 points. On the topic of traits, there are a few that will help your sims advance in their careers. When your sim is created or aged up, selecting the ambitious trait will actually help them advance faster, but they won't be too happy if they go too long without any advancement in careers or skills. Buying the connections trait early on can help, as they will start each new career at level 3 after obtaining it. Buying the entrepreneurial trait will also help them get promoted faster. The professional slacker trait will help keep them from getting fired if they're doing a downright terrible job, but if you're focused on your sim and you're determined to get them promoted, you shouldn't have too much trouble with that, so I would honestly save your points for something else. Lastly, we have two things from PAX that can also help your sim get promoted. One of the things is from the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. It's actually, if you go to Build By Mode, Activities and Skills, and it's under Miscellaneous, it's the Whispering Wishing Well. The Whispering Wishing Well you can actually go to it, make a wish, and wish for a promotion in your career. I would recommend making an offering before you do so, as you can have a severe adverse reaction, and an offering does help. But there's a chance that you could get promoted on the spot. There's also a chance that they can say, you're doing a good job, and assuming all your other needs are met, we'll promote you next time. Or they could put you on a probationary period, which is a terribly adverse effect effect for what you want, but it's usually worth the gamble assuming you're making an offering and the wish Whispering Wishing Well actually likes it. The other helpful trick is from the Get Together expansion pack. If you're in a club, you can spend some club points to actually make your club a networked club. If you're in a networked club, it increases your performance gain at work while your sim is a part of that club, so that can also help you get promoted a little bit faster. Some bonus tips for getting promoted faster, if your programming skill is up high enough, you can actually hack your work performance. This is one of those things that's also kind of a gamble. You can hack work performance and it helps, or you can hack work performance and it hurts. Another trick that helps is if you have your charisma skill up high enough, you can actually negotiate a bonus in your career. Another one of those, it's Usually worth a gamble, it can give you a nice little bump, or it can take you down a notch. But still helpful nonetheless, generally. I hope these little tips and tricks help your sim get promoted into the top of their careers. Tune in next week for another video on The Sims 4, and I will see y'all then. As always, happy gaming! Oh! Baby.